hands-on the LGV20 hopefully you enjoyed the unboxing I'm not gonna go into a lot of areas of this device right now at all I'm gonna be making a lot of videos but for right now um, I'm just gonna throw this into the unboxing video second display is on you'll be able to go into settings and actually um, turn that off leave it on and pick and choose what you want showing you know the content that you want showing up above on that second display Got your 5 megapixel shooter there, your earpiece, your LG logo down below. You got a speaker here, which I hear is really, really good. USB Type-C charging port, microphone, headphone jack. A lot of you will like the fact that the headphone jack is the bottom of the device. To me, well, it's no big deal. On the back, V20 logo, fingerprint, reader, dual flash, 60 megapixel, 8 megapixel, phase auto detection, and you got optical image stabilization. It's really cool on the side. Like you saw in the unboxing, you got the quick release for your back plate there that will come off to expose your battery and where your SD card will go. And that's up to 256 gigs if you want to add that much memory and your nano SIM. And then you just put that plate back on. And then, uh, and I'm hitting everything here. Turn that off. And your volume rocker back here and everything feels really good. The fingerprint reader, once you get it set up, all you have to do is just touch and it'll turn on. But if you want to turn this device off, you'll press and hold and you'll actually feel that go on. You can listen to it click. Okay, you'll press in and hold and it'll turn the device off. And then if you want to boot it back up, you'll press and hold and the device will turn on. But just to turn on the display, you just barely touch and it is on, okay? press and push in and you turn off the display uh, so yeah that's basically the outer part of the device the aesthetics of the device and it feels really good man 5.5 inch IPS LCD display that is a 2k display 1440 by 2060 it already has my project 13 right there and if you can go into settings and you can actually um, put that as tab view but I like a list view nice and let me show you something. There's the second screen setting area, and I'm going to go into that later. But you can ask any questions you want down below. It is smooth. It's very nice and smooth. And yeah, look at that. Go back out of there. Yeah, running a Qualcomm Snapdragon A20. Uh, mentioned in the video a uh, 3200 milliamp battery so I know I'm not going over everything right now but I just wanted to let you know how it felt in hand you got the Nexus 6 right here you can see how big that is compared to the Nexus 6 okay and oop, just hit the camera I think ZTX on 7 Samsung Galaxy J7. Now I would be uh, using the Huawei Mate 9 down here as well, but that's actually shooting this video right now. So I'm pretty sure that the Huawei Mate 9 is, is going to be closer to the size of the LG V20. So they're, they're big devices. But so far in hand, it looks great. Aesthetically, it's a beautiful device. I don't know why some people found the design of this device boring, but I think it's <laughs> very, very sexy looking. I love it. I love the color. Um, yeah, everything looks great right now. But what, what we're hoping for as I test this device out during the reviewing process is that we get great quality uh, uh, when it comes to um, uh, messaging, you know, call quality, messaging, uh, performance, battery life, and then everything after that. Okay, so that's what we're hoping for. 350, 360 smacks at T-Mobile right now. What a deal. 
What a deal, man. If you're with T-Mobile, go out and get yourself an LG V20 for 360 snacks. That's just awesome. Also, the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and the regular S7 right now for 360. But we already have an S7 Edge in the house that belongs to my wife, so I wanted something different. So I picked up the LG V20 for $360. And so far, right now, I'm digging it. We'll see what else it's going to give me when I start using it as my daily driver. And I'm hoping that at the end of the day, at the end of the review process, this device makes me happy. Peace. I'm out. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, donate. And remember, you are my Project 13.